Hey guys, welcome back once again to a Star Wars action figure review. This time I've got the other SH figures, um, figure that I got, Darth Maul, obviously, as you see in front of you. Um, reviewed Obi-Wan a couple of weeks ago, so check it out if you haven't yet. This one is equally as awesome. Um, like I said in that video, I've been just, I've been eyeing these figures off for ages and they've always been a little bit out of my price range. Um, they can get quite pricey, especially being major imports, Japanese imports. Um, they can get quite, quite crazily priced, but, um, I finally decided to bite the bullet and, um, yeah, obviously I picked them up, picked a couple up. So, um, thanks again to Dave at, uh, 808toys.com.au. Um, he gave me a really cool deal on these and, uh, yeah, so it was really appreciated and these are awesome. So I'm really, really excited to have this one. This one just blew my mind the second I took him out of the box. So we'll have a close look at his face and stuff. I'll just, no, I can't remove the lightsaber. I haven't played with it a couple of weeks. I've uh, I just sort of had it on the shelf and moving it around and stuff. Super impressive. And I've actually got the Black Series one, so I'll do a bit of a comparison afterwards. Again, just a super dynamic figure with awesome articulation, accessories, everything you want. It's just... <clears throat> Without without paying Hot Toys prices, this is a, a really good figure. So again, this one comes with two heads. Comes with a nice angry face. It also comes with this really cool sort of stoic look. Which is awesome as well, it's really intimidating. Just really nicely painted, really clean paint work, which is what you want when you're paying this sort of money. But it's just absolutely outstanding. Accessory wise, it does come with this double bladed lightsaber, which is really nicely done. The blades do pop out at each end. So you can just have it have the hilt, which is nice too. It's again really nicely detailed. Um, just the paintwork looks absolutely amazing. So I'm just standing back there. No, I won't. he won't stand up. He also comes with the single blades after Obi Wan cuts them in half. So you've got these two halves, and one of them has a burnt off bottom, which is awesome. So, you have him fighting single-bladed against Obi-Wan, which is nice. So that's a cool little, and obviously you can pick the blade in there. So that's a nice little addition. I thought that was really cool. Um, and again, comes with a good selection of swappable hands. Let's just grab them. So he's, hot, he's got one lightsaber holding hand here, and he also has the other hand. Got a bit of a open force push hand there, which is nice. Also got the same sort of thing. A couple of fists. That's not one of them. So we got a couple of fists there. And then you've got an angled Sort of an angled hand as well, like an angled lightsaber holding one. So I just compare it to that one. One of them is holding it straight and one of them is holding it at an angle so it goes up diagonally more. Just allows for a little bit of a dyna more, bit more dynamic display, which is cool. Um, again, I don't know where to start with articulation, but it's everywhere. So he's got it's a head. And the neck, the base of the neck. Some really good movement. Looks way up. And pretty far down. That's that's probably more than enough. Um, sort of a shoulder joint. Again, I don't even know what to call these. But it's got an inner shoulder. That moves up and down. Elbows are good. Wrists are good. Heaps of movement and torso as well. Just above the belt. 
uh, his hips, the thighs move out, knees, ankles, the lot. It's it's amazing. And I really like this sort of softer plastic here that they've used just to allow that movement, which is which is really nice, and it's all in like smaller segments, so just breaks up really nicely. <clears throat> and it allows for some really good posing. So as I said, I do a little comparison with the Black Series one. Keep in mind you're keeping a, it, the difference in price range is about four times. Um, so the Black Series figures here are 35 bucks, and the figure arts figures here are, you know, anywhere between 80 to 120, depending on the character and how short their run was or whatever. So they're the same, pretty much the same height. Let me just put them back here. Oh, we've got Darth Maul posed up in a stand there. But um, if we get a closer look at this one's, the Black Series one's head. Again, you're getting what you pay for. But... Big difference there. Not that the Black Series one's bad at all, I really like the Black Series one. It's still one of the best figures and it's from the first wave. But, by golly, you're paying for detail, you're paying, you're paying for this, these SH Fig Arts by Bandai. Um, you're getting exactly what you pay for, you're getting supreme detail, articulation, all that good stuff. Um, so not to, not to poo-poo on the Black Series, because I do love the Black Series. But... These guys are fantastic. And I'll just try and decide which one to get next. I think I'm going to go with the Tatooine look. And then maybe the Kylo Ren. But again, I've got to save some money. So <laughs> probably won't be buying too many more. I might just get the Tatooine look for it and be done for a while. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Stick around because I'm going to post some pictures at the end of this of just some different poses with uh, this figure just to show it off a little bit more um, than I can do in the video. So thank you again for watching. I'll be back very soon. I've got a few ideas in my head, but again, it comes coming down to time at the moment. Um, that's why it's taken a couple of weeks to get this one up. But... Thank you very much for all you do and all you guys support and sticking around and watching my videos all the time. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll speak to you guys very soon and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you guys.